I, I think you could theoretically say that, Scott, but I think the market's looking through that also to say, you know, perhaps we shouldn't be at 1.4 and perhaps we should be higher. And given that, and to Steve's point, some of these stocks, you know, they shouldn't have been as high as they, they were and they shouldn't even be where they are now when you're trading at 14, 17, 20 times sales. I think there's other parts of the market that are investable. And I think investors are starting to be more dis, you know, discerning given that if rates are going to go up and we're going to see some more opportunity in other areas where there is going to be earnings growth and, and we're going to actually, you know, so the market today is telling you, you know, may, you know we're coming out of it. Um, but it goes back and forth. And I do think that uh, to Liz's point, we were overinvested. There were a lot of investors. This was a very crowded trade. Uh, momentum was there. But there's a ton of value in other tech and there's a ton of value in some of the other uh, and no, but when the whole well. desk says stay away from these names, it makes me feel like, OK, maybe that's a contrarian indicator in and yeah. of itself when everybody hates these stocks. Hey, they, they're going to go through this turnover. So I'll throw in a name. OK. Um, but but I, I, I like one stock that is uh, trades on sales is, is Roblox, right? I mean, I don't consider Roblox in the same category as some of those because you actually have innovation there. You have something that's unique and you have a moat around your business. I think that is something you want to look for. So you could catch a falling knife in some of the others. And, you know, a, a thing like Roblox that's come down over 20 percent, if you haven't nibbled, it could be a chance for us to, to get more of it. I mean, I'm looking at Roblox right now and assuming I'm looking at the right information. I mean, that's 39 times sales. That's still expensive in the kind of world that you all are talking about. And, and by the way, it, it it's, not like, it's not like it's not like every other name on the list that I read you and I didn't even finish the list. Uh, those have real innovation. Those are real businesses. They have real fundamentals. They may have just gotten ahead of themselves, uh, but Roblox is the one you pick out of a hat? Well, no, it's not out of a hat. I've talked about it before. I've owned it. Uh, but you, you would ask, for, well, what are you going to pick on some of the stocks that have come down that are trading at price to sales? So, you know, that's the we've done a lot of work on. That's where we're more comfortable for the long term. I don't know where it's going to be three to six months, but I feel that has a moat around its business that some of the others, like a DocuSign and a Peloton, don't as much.